today we have the Ace Volt 2000 watt camp power portable battery station. And of course the 2000 is, signifies the watt hours and also 2000 watt inverter with a peak of 4000. A couple of cool features is it has a built in adapter. This is the plug. As you notice, there is no brick. Like some of the other brands, you have to carry this around and it's very loud. Speaking of the noise, it is incredibly silent. There is a startup noise. Let's go ahead and turn it on so you can hear the transformer. Just kidding. This is actually how it really sounds. Big shout out to Optimus Prime though. So once it turns on, it goes back down to silent. There are four fans on either side and in the month I've had it, I've only heard it turn on once. And the inverter is a pure sine wave inverter. And for those who don't know the difference be between pure sine and modified, there is nothing wrong with modified. Um, the only time you come into some issues is if you're powering something very high wattage or some sensitive electronics. Uh, may get screwed up with modified. So this one has a pure sine wave, so you don't have to worry about it. So a battery bank like this is pretty foolproof. You don't need to know anything about a watt, an amp hour, uh, what a current or a volt is at all. You just need to buy this and plug stuff in and you can either charge this through the wall or have a solar panel up to 500 watts. So if you wanna check out the Ace Volt Camp Power 2000 watt, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check this out. Right now it is $16.99, which is a great deal. It is about 80 cents per watt hour. The going rate is about a dollar per watt hour. So let's talk about different battery chemistries, two different types of lithium, lithium iron phosphate, LFP or life PO4. There is also the other lithium that we don't talk about, the ugly stepchild, which is lithium ion. The main difference, with lithium ion, you generally get about 500 plus charges before it reaches 80% capacity. With Life PO4, you get 3,500 plus charge cycles before reaching its 80% capacity. So if you do the math there, if you're gonna charge this every day from zero to 100, which uh, most people aren't gonna be using that much power, it is a 10 year lifespan before reaching its 80% capacity. So you buy this once and you're pretty much set. So this is incredibly safe. This battery chemistry poses no risk of explosions due to high temperatures. It'll just shut off on its own. Another cool thing about this is it has supercharging technology. So when you plug this into a wall, it charges at 1100 watts. So zero to 80% in 87 minutes. So it has three diversified ways of charging this. First, as I mentioned, AC at 1100 watts, and that'll take you between one hour and an hour and a half. It also has a built-in MPPT, smart solar charge controller in here. So you can charge it directly from some solar panels at 500 watts maximum. And that is, it'll take about four to five hours depending on the intensity of the sunlight. Third way of charging this is through your car, through the 12 volt input. Um, this is the slowest route. It will take about 10 to 12 hours to charge. And the fourth way that I use is I tap it into my house batteries using a fuse box and I input about 100 watts at a time as I trickle charge it. So it has a lot of flexibility whether you're at home, charge things when you're in the backyard or if you're off grid for all your off grid needs like I am, I am off grid 24 seven. So this comes in quite handy in case of emergency. You have a lot of power on hand in case of a uh, power outage, you have the flexibility of, of charging all your essential things that you need with this Ace Volt. Now let's go through a little tour here on the front. At the top right is your power button. Just below that is going to be your light. In the middle is a large clear display. It is 4.7, 4.9 inches. And it has 15 different icons that pop up. There's a discharge remaining, a charge remaining, there is a percentage right here in the middle and on the right side there is an input and output as far as your wattage usage or charging up. And of course you can charge this while using it as well. Just below the display here we have two type C chargers that charge up to 100 watts. So your laptop or some smartphones that can take that much wattage. In the middle quick charge 3.0. And on the left, we have some basic USB. So on the left side, we have your usual suspects. We have a little flap for your 12 volt port here, your cigar lighter port, 
And on this side, we have your DC5521. Just below that, we have two XT60s. So if you happen to use a CPAP, you can plug it right in here. Coming along on the left side of the unit, we have the AC input, which charges at 1100 watts. Right next to that, we have the DC input, and it also has a built-in MPPT charger, and that can charge up to 500 watts at a time. On the right side, we have the AC ports. There are six AC ports, three prong. On the top, we have two large handles, no wireless charger, which is I'm actually stoked about because they never really work right on my other power banks. They never really work. Now for my usage, I've had this now for about a month and I was trying to figure out all the things I don't like about it. There is one petty thing that I don't like about it is when the fan comes on, it's actually not very loud, but it has a whine to it, which is definitely noticeable. But in the 30 days that I've had this, it only, the fan has only come on once. And I suspect that is due to the temperature outside. It was 85 degrees that day. And so the fan came on and there are four fans, two on each side to cool this down. So the noise might get a little annoying during the summertime when it's hot, especially if you have sensitive ears. Other than that little petty gripe of the fan coming on once in the 30 days I've had it, I really can't find anything else that I don't like about it. That's gonna conclude the video guys. Let me know what you guys think of the Ace Volt Camp Power 2000 watt in the comment section and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.